do that. Dr. Fry, nine ninety nine. Bob, is it true? It's you Steve Frere, not if... Dr. Fry. I don't give a fuck. Bob, is it true you will leave if Kevin disrespects you? You said that on Julie's show. Yeah, why were you show... so angry at Kevin, Bob? Because he he said yesterday that he want he's gonna he's gonna have you fucking go. He wants you to see go after me, and he's going to in, set it up that way. That's what he, he said, said yesterday. That. He, no, Kevin said it. And no, no I'm not going to put up. Kevin's a friend. of. I consider Kevin a friend, and I think he's a friend of mine. And for him to try to throw me under the bus would be a n- not good thing to do. That's a, that's what I said. And that's a fucking fact. I don't think going to throw you under the bus, Bob. Bob, but is it I, true that you will leave if Kevin disrespects you? You said that on Shuli's show. That show has become a let's make fun of Kevin all day show. No, it's not. No, it's not. What has this become? What has this become? This? What does this become? Make fun of Shuli every day. What does this become? I don't I don't I don't make fun of anybody. I just okay. tell the truth. If that's called making fun, then what, what is the truth? Tell me the truth then. What is the truth about Shuli? I don't know. John, what what do you I he no, knows you. Julie, but what do you mean what, what is what the truth? What are you mad at him for? Oh, here's your thing. Because he's a lying fucking snake. Other than that. Where, where did he lie? I just he lied. Lied, started with the Mike Carter stuff, and it's been going on and That's on and on since then. That's not his business. Huh? That's Julie, not his business. That's it no is his business. business. He's right it. there. I said, I said was the one that called Coulter and fucking said you wanted to make up with him, and that's what started it. No, Otherwise, but then I asked, well, I asked, I asked, uh, I surely I go. We're, I, I heard you were like making jokes and playing along. Shuli's like, no, I didn't. And then there's like literal, literally video evidence of him fucking playing along. Have, what's the over under on the calls? And he's like, I didn't do it. He's a fucking lying snake. Other than that, I'm fine with him. Okay, send him a link. Uh, uh, first of all, I, I'm just because I don't know why you guys don't read super chats when they come to the site. I'm not saying that Carl is gay. I'm wondering why. Shut up with the Carl's gay. <laughs> no, I'm gayer going, than going. Carl. I'm gayer <laughs> I'm than Carl. Saying that. I'm gayer than Carl. I have two kids. I, I could suck dick on the side. <laughs> you put some blue cheese in the guy's I ass. Think, I'll go down I guess there. Carl might be dabbling in homosexuality. That's all. He, uh, oh, he, he, he listen, got, he got listen, I'm going to defend Carl right now. Even if Carl is a, a metrosexual, as you call it, Carl's a good broadcaster. That was yeah. one of the reasons oh, uh, he's man. on. And he and you is. can, John, yeah, you can not like him, but he's a good broadcaster. He That's really why is. I like him. Studio in Rochester, New York. Get he's still fuck. good at it. Like I can't get mad at him. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Canoga Park's not that nice. I've been yeah, there. I'm it's not there at all. Where you live? Yeah, is oh, shit really? Money. It's a shithole. I bought yeah. my house for two hundred five thousand. I sold it for four hundred. You dumb fuck. Oh yeah, okay. Well, that's a good brag. And I put eighty thousand down. Please, I I got a question, John. Everybody wants to know this. If I don't ask you this, I'm going to get beat up. You've been reaching out to your mods lately. Are you coming back? You've been hinting that you're coming back. Will you have a show on the internet again? My mods. Okay, then pretend I didn't say that. Are you coming back to the internet? Will you have a show again? No. Damn it. Why not? You, you got to come back at least, at least yeah. in the summer. Come on, man. Yeah, John, you on. make a lot of money. You like make a lot of money. You keep calling Carla dumb fuck. You'd be a dumb fuck not to do once a week, and you'd make a lot of money with the super chats. All right, I thank right. you. He's not going to do. Look, if he has a job teaching, right? It's but not, not in the summer. It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense to. You can't do right. a show like everybody does on the internet if you All have right. a regular job like that. You can't get blackout drunk in the afternoon on the internet. I agree. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I'm blackout drunk, Carl. No, he's that's talking about Chad. Fun. He's talking about Chad. <laughs> and that's another bullshit thing. Like I'm always drunk. Fuck off. You know. Yeah. Okay. I'm drunk all the time. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, now you yourself uh, said you're at the Pickwick Pub every day at 3 p.m. That's something you said. I didn't every, say that. Hey, how can I do that if I'm not off from school till 3 or 4? You dumb. No, fuck. no, I'm talking about before you took the gig as a substitute teacher when you were. No, happy hour doesn't start till four. I don't get that. <laughs> you, you go if you want to fight me, fight me at Pickwick Pub every day at 3. I'm there. Yeah, and then you're yeah, like, why is people yeah, fighting yeah, yeah, at four? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got you got a technicality. I should be a problem to come there. Okay, now. Bob, I'm going to be honest with you here, and I want your opinion. Well, I'm always honest, but I want your opinion, even though these assholes think I'm a pathological liar, and I'm not. Mm -hmm. On the Stern Show, all we did was talk truth about our lives. I mean, I talk about my hemorrhoids. I talk about everything. I talk about you. Anyway, 
Shuli was one of my moles. Now, Shuli what does that mean? That he wasn't. Now, Bob, how else? Now, you probably heard this. No, story. but what is a moles? Explain that to the people. Okay. So when Shuli was still at the Stern Show, he told me a story that only Shuli could tell, which is, Carl, do you want to hear it? I know you're a big Stern fan. You jerk off to all of us. So, Bob, Shuli told me a story because you know you're not allowed to walk down the hallways, you know, after how you know, when the show ends, Howard's yeah. got to walk out to an empty hallway. Yeah. All right. Shuli told me his girlfriend, I think I believe her name's Christina. I don't know. At, at the time, or his wife, whatever, had to go to the bathroom because they put everybody, they sequester him in another room. And she had to go to the bathroom. And she was very nervous to go because she didn't want to run into Howard. So she went to the bathroom. And then she walks out of the bathroom and she walks down the hallway and who's coming out the pelican himself. So then she sees how, and then she goes back into this quick sequestered room and she says to Shulia, I'm so sorry, Howard saw me. I hope I don't get you fired. Now, I ask you, who else is gonna tell me that story? That's fascinating, uh, and, please and, go on. And, and, any, anybody and that would- Bob, 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 why won't he just admit it? He's gone. Why won't he just admit that he told me that story? Why not? Well, I don't know. Yeah, you, that's you're why, talking... Kevin. When I maybe because no. it's the worst story ever told. He's embarrassed. Yeah, it's like anybody can, story. anybody that, that was there sucks. right after can tell it's that story because I'm story sure everybody found out. When you work with Howard and he and he never walked down a you know a hallway where nobody was allowed in it. He was telling me that Howard's gotten too full of himself. Now, yeah, pretty good, Kevin. That is why me, me or Carl, you, Brennan. That is why when I interviewed Shuli at that hotel lobby, he was so afraid. He was afraid that I was going to say, Shuli, you are my mole. Why are you running away from me? And he was shitting in his pants, and that's why. There's no other reason. That's the reason. Right. Shuli, that's delay, an exclusive. Please. Uh, David, you know, hey, I promise Kevin, I'll 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 give the no, dirt. But, this ain't bullshit. Like Julie does. All I'm saying is, let I wasn't there. I don't know anything about this. Send Julie to Lake. Let him I answer do. this. He's not the only mole I had. One yeah, of the moles gave me the mole fucking whole pelican breed. Who needs a mole? When I left there, I didn't fucking give a fuck if the the building went on fire. I didn't I know, give a fuck if they all burned still- in it. Bob, uh, David Cakes, ten dollars. This is amazing! Exclamation! Glad Shuli isn't here. Double yeah. exclamation! Yeah. Now, Carl, Carl, aren't you happy that I got the Pelican brief and was able to show that that fucking ridiculous meeting that Howard had? Aren't you happy? Oh, I, that I love I'm that. that? Oh, I, I love that that meeting. I've yeah, guess it where I times. got it from? From who? Shuli? Not Shuli. It was yeah, another I mole I had there. I had so, three moles. I still have one there now, which I won't disclose. But did you not say that that was Shul at the beginning? This is what I've heard, that you said that Shuli was the one that recorded it, but then you can clearly see Shuli in the video ahead of yeah. it. Yeah. But no, that's what... No. If I yes. said Shuli recorded it, it's not him. So that's a mistake. Well, I mean, uh, you, you could have gotten him fired for saying that, so you should be yeah. more careful probably. Well, no, I, like that. I didn't think I said that, but if I did, I apologize. I didn't hey, I, I have a question for you, Jack, because you're talking about how much money you have and how much your apartment sold for. How come it was in your mom's name? You said it was for creative accounting purposes. What does that mean? It sounds illegal. Explain that. Okay, here we go. You ready? Because even yeah. Vince, Vince's uh, condo in Manhattan is in his mom's. Oh, uh, his dad. I, I'm, not ta- I'm not asking Vince anything. I'm asking you. I'm going to tell you why, you dumb fuck, if you just listen. <laughs> um... How to make friends with John. <laughs> I swear to God, I watch this show. The, the Carl and John show, I'd watch it every day. Oh, yeah. right, here's the reason. When I got divorced, my wife had credit cards that I didn't know about. With, you know, with Wells Fargo, whatever. My you married credit, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> my credit went down to 570. Jesus Christ. Christ. So when I got my condo, my mom's credit. That was all your crazy. wife's, your ex-wife's fault? Susanna? Well, it's not her fault. She just didn't tell me about it, and then I didn't know about it, so I didn't. I didn't get any mail. I didn't pay it, 
And with that and other things. But you also bought a house you probably couldn't afford when you got the, the gig at uh, Leno. So maybe that no, hurt your credit too? No? Okay. Anyway, right. do you want me to answer the question, Carl, or, or are you going to just fuck I just, I just think you're, I don't know. Keep, keep going. Explain. Okay. So my mom's credit is over 800. It's perfect. It's like, you know, it's stellar credit. My mortgage is much cheaper in my mom's name. And what I do, Carla, is I have <laughs> I had my mom a girl. <laughs> I had my mom sign a grant deed so whenever I wanted I could change it back to my name. Ah, so he, Carla. But by the way, John, when when I was a teenager, I had my parents co-sign so I could get a car. So I get it. I understand. Mm -hmm. It's just because of my credit. And the house I have now, I'll tell you, is also in both of my names. And then when the price, I mean, when the interest rates come down, she's going to sign a quit claim deed, and then I'm going to put it in my name and get a better interest rate. How do you like that, Carl? You just got schooled a little bit in real estate. Uh, what are you? Well, I, I got schooled. You, you just said your credit was five sixty. and you blamed your ex-wife for it. No, I didn't. What, how was that on me? You're, you're acting like I'm the idiot? No, I bought, I bought both my houses in my name. How's that? Good, good, good. In Rochester, I guess you can. Boring. But I'm just telling you that fucking that's why I had to do it. Every other house I bought was in my name. Right, let me read what some mean, super chats. What do you does mean John in Rochester? Re <laughs> John really is the armpit of the world. How can does, you be proud of living there? It's a shithole. Do you like photography, John? Invented here. Do I like photography. <laughs> oh, you guys better stop with this Piazza talk. Uh, <laughs> you does, guys better does John stop. really think oh, he's I'm a drunk right now. Yeah, I'm drunk on two fucking Miller fucking Ultras. Get the fuck out of here. Does John really think he is a comedian? Does anyone think he is? I have to read these, John, or else they get their money back. I don't really care if they do or don't. I don't give a shit. Bob and I did gigs together. We had great fun together. We had great gigs together. Hey, Natty M wants to know, John, did you cause Brent Hatley to leave when you left him that voicemail about wanting to kick Shuley's ass? Good question. I don't Wait, remember man. that. Maybe I was half in a bag. Did it, didn't Brent reach out to you, John? I don't know, man. Dude, no? I, okay. look, I, can, I, I can't remember every one of these stupid fucking things. I, just I don't him. even know who Brent Hatley is. Mm, well, I know I now. That's, that's, I don't know. If that's true. Well, now I do because he <laughs> fucks his like, wife on camera. Or something. Like I don't know. Well, he other people fuck his wife on camera, but yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Carl. I'm gonna get allegedly. You allegedly, he holds the camera. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> he holds the camera. <laughs> Dump truck. Why does Carl avoid talking about Comia's grooming? Oh, come on. Mm. I'm not uh, Anthony Cumia's spokesperson. We're not talking. About, we don't talk about stuff like that. We don't do that kind of show. Go over to the Shuley Network for that. EGN, $20. KB, this is for you. Never using the stupid effing term Dabbleverse. KB is king F. Shuley. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the Dabbleverse. I'm not even sure what it is, but I don't. So hey, I don't. What the fuck is a Piazza? What the fuck is a Piazza anyway? Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza, the catcher for the uh, Mets. It's yeah, a call it's to you. Yeah. <laughs> It's I don't get the I don't get the reference. It's a call. You called yep. him. Lenny Dykstra had some thoughts about uh, Mike yeah. Piazza. He said he was looking at his ass when he was up at bat, and he made a look. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, because there's been rumors about Mike Piazza more longer oh, than the, longer than rumors about Carl. Yeah, right. And, uh, Will Hurden, John, did you win the fantasy football game? You left Kumia's show with Artie for, with Artie for. Show. How are you with Artie? Are you guys, you and Artie still talk? Artie don't talk to anybody right now. I, I guess he talks to Bob. I don't know. No, no. He's uh, he's basically getting his shit together. I haven't talked to him in a long time. And, Bob, uh, and you'll admit that Artie was a great guy, but when he got into heroin, he was a fucking asshole. Yeah, he was a drug addict, and I understand that. And, and you happened. told me that Dom wanted to beat his fucking ass in. Dom wasn't happy at a time, but Dom was probably 14 years old at the time. And, no, but uh, I'm just but, saying, Artie turned into a dick. No, well, you never hear the guy's doing heroin. He's a great guy now. Exactly. <laughs> right, yeah. It's like, Drug addicts tend to lie and stuff. When you yeah. see, when somebody sees somebody in a different way when they're sober, and then all of a sudden the reaction, they don't basically know they're on drugs. I'm not going to be saying, oh, he's on heroin. And my son, he's probably 13 or 14 at the time. And he oh, was... But the whole thing is, is that I understand that, uh, you know, I was a drug addict. I had to, uh, I was stuck what on drug Xanax. Were you addicted to? 
Xanax. I was on six milligrams a day, my doctor gave me. Oh, and shit. and I, I was on that for 10 years and I had to go to rehab and I've changed as a person and I know how it is. I know that you're not the same person. And if you're on drugs for whatever, 10 years, you're going back those 10 years of, and if Artie's on drugs since he was 18, he mentally, he's 18 years old. And that's yeah. a fact. That's what drugs do to you. No, you but, he, but he fought with everyone. Sue Costello can't stand them anymore. Anybody that was on but, the show. But I realized that after a point, once so I got mad, I said, I said, it's not about me. It's about what he's on. And once yeah. I realized that, I was fine with it. I, I did the same thing with Howard. And but, you know, they they got me in a position where they were trying to fuck with me and I don't la allow that. And I take it way over. And I had to deal with uh, the cops, NYPD blue coming to my house, FBI involved, you know, and I'm like, yeah, I think I went a little too far. OK, I get it now. I but I can go back and say, yes, it was my fault at that moment. No, I was you're not going to fuck with me. That's I, I how I it it. Yeah, That's and how it was I a different one. I wanted to beat the fuck out of him. And you know, I'll tell you, Carl, that I used to, while I was doing his podcast, I used to hand Artie napkins and towels to fucking clean off all the blood that was dripping out of his nose. I mean, it was pathetic, man. And I asked Dan, the enabler, Filato, I said, Hey, he's a fan. I don't give a and, fuck. He's an asshole. And, and no, I, I asked, was there. I was asked him, I go, Dan, is Artie doing heroin? And this is his dumbass fucking on the fence response i've never seen any drugs around here oh fuck off yeah but, no, but john the, who, thing the is, question we, though it, is who's funnier larry the cable guy or jay leno go yeah that's what the question was i'm friends with both of them why would i trash two of my friends why that What's is michael that, that is that? michael says miss you john Ten okay dollars. here's another thing i want to because talk I do about know how to broadcast you fucking dumb fuck carl I want to talk hey, about Dan. I want to talk about Dan. Was it a burger or a hay burger or a ham? What is it anyway? We're not doxing here. We don't. We don't dox. Hey, on listen. Show. I want to we're talk about Dan. Show. You brought up Dan. Why? I was. I'm John I was there been, with Dan, and Dan, me Bennett. and Dan That's worked very lady. hard you to get him off a of drug. Can't pronounce your last very name. Hard. Dude, we don't That's dox. We don't dox here. It's not we dox. tried to get him off of drugs very hard to get him uh, to rehab, to anything, to try to fucking set up his drug dealer. I, I, I talked to his mother and I said, this is what I will do. And she goes, we can't have that done. I go, nobody's going to care if a drug dealer goes missing. Okay. And you can ask her. Anybody can ask her to talk to her. That's how much. Send her the link. Uh, Dick to the Super Chats. This is epic. Love you, Kevin Carl. These, these shirts smell like fresh. Uh, pussy. Don't call me back. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck he's saying. It's got a Piazza oh, shirt on. It looks like. Oh, is that what? Oh, these yeah. smell like fresh pussy. Don't call me back. All right, I got it. But Thank Dan, you. Dan system. worked very hard with me. Hey, as, Kevin, as everybody trying to get him to oh, Did you send me the rest of the money? Huh? <laughs> no, you're not getting <laughs> you it. The they the fucked money? you. Yeah, I sent it to her at the beginning of the show. I know. <laughs> it was yeah. so funny because because Kevin's like. John, but I'm afraid that you're going to leave. If someone says something bad, go, Kev, I gave you my word. I ain't leaving anywhere. I, you know, fuck no, I was worried because I thought you said that we violated the contract if no. somebody said something no, about Vince you, like like with the with the Vince, the lawyer situation. Vince you said, change your terms. What a, hey, I'm a little rascal's fan. What? Pay as you exit. Fuck off. No, hold on, John. That is how business works. Half up front, half after the job. Oh, really? Is that how business works? Yes, really? John. I've been in business for a long front. time. Okay. I know. Okay. Do you get, you know do you get paid? Works. Do you get okay. paid before you substitute teacher? After asshole, you get paid after what? after the job is done. That's what they pay you. The you same get paid before you do your job. I get paid every single day. It's on a time card. <laughs> okay. It's well, yeah, on a time yeah. card. <laughs> it's proof every day. You dumb fuck. Right. Do you know what a time card is? It represents the time that you just did. Not time yes. you can do with the future. And they, but LAUSD retard. ain't going to fuck me. Retard. This lawyer is going to fuck me. LAUSD is not going to fuck me. Carl Heberger and fucking Julie oh, oh, Agar are going to fuck me. Brandon like, O'Quinn. Brandon O'Quinn says, is Stutter and John currently starring in a Pilgrim movie? I know. This head, I'm in the awkward stage. I'm growing my head long. It's my midlife crisis. Fuck off. Kevin, <laughs> you want to storm by you? Do you have a crazy storm in Jersey? No. It's like 
It's fucking blasting outside right now. Yeah, what you the fuck are you doing the weather now, Levy? No, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's the 5 o'clock hour. We do sports and weather. Travis. Yeah, KB, yeah. B- before you read that next Super Chat, I have to jump off. Uh, I right. do the Drew and Mike show every other Tuesday. But I, I just want to say, John, props run to away, you for coming on Run here. away, run away. No, let him finish. Let him John, finish. Come on my show anytime. You have an open invitation, my friend. Yeah, John, right, let him I'd, finish. I'd love to talk to you again anytime. But thank you for doing this. I'm proud of you. I, I love that you came on here today. I think people are very excited to hear from you again. I hope you come back again soon to the mm-hmm. internet. Start your show up again. We love yeah. you, buddy. Yeah, you just love goofing on me, you prick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he saw right through that one. <laughs> All right. Just great job, Carl. Bottom, thank yeah, you. Yeah, do whatever you want. Just don't Thanks, guys. Like, take anything from me. All right. Well, you sent yeah, me a see you later, assist, buddy. So I think you do care, but okay. Bye, guys. I don't take care. care. My buddy. chance to hear. Don't turn loose on me, you dumb fuck. Uh, All right. Send Julie the link. I got to read Bob. Super Chats. Drunk on... No, I'm just saying to talk. Just to talk. Bob, I got to read Super Chats. Okay. Drunk, 